Now, for the workflow uh, number three, uh, you have been working in a business offer. Now, not a business offer per se, but a document to be used as a business offer um, in the case of your uh, client or customer, right? So many times we designers, uh, we, are, we need to, we are hired to create really nice, beautiful documents uh, for then third party, you know, cost, third party company um, use to use to improve their uh, business, right? So in, in, in this case, uh, there is three main things, uh, right, that you, you probably want and, or probably need to be aware. So possi possibly more people will get involved, right? So, I mean, not between you uh, and those people, but after you deliver uh, your, your work, probably more people will need to work with the file you give. More people will need to work with the design you, you give, right? It should be easier. Uh, to work with and and to reuse it since the content of the business offer will change right depending on business offer so uh, this is a less technical but more broad document piece right um, and it needs to be not only in the sense of content but in sense of who is who, the people and the, the all these people that are going to use uh, that document at the end and it needs to be discussed at length uh, but probably doesn't need to be changed by many, right? It's more or less a uh, general idea. Now, um, again, we go, get back to this fiction versus reality. You could just send a document and that's that. Uh, the problem is that in reality, uh, what the ideal scenario or what actually what it will happen is that if you send uh, that document and if that document is very rigid, rigid in terms of types of contents that you expect to, to receive, it might not work perfectly, right? Because that document will be used for many business offers. So the contents will change uh, from the target that, that, uh, that your um, client has in mind for each different business offer, to each different business will be different. Uh, but he will st he still wants to reuse that uh, file that um, he commissioned you. To do um, so, basically, we are talking about a, temp a kind of a template, like a, a document that should be flexible enough uh, to be used and uh, reused. So, why not use an office suite? Uh, an office suite that supports all the standards, open standards um, uh, document formats, and even goes beyond, uh, right? Uh, by uh, by being able to work even with uh, Microsoft formats um, and just design uh, your document using, for instance, Collabor Online. And that would even allow you to have all the advantages of a collaborative discussion, right? So you have all these uh, advanced uh, features. You can still, you know, see all those features you already discussed. Uh, you know, you have all the, the, the features that you already know from um, if you already used LibreOffice, like drop caps, table of contents, um, you know, all of these, these, these uh, tools. But now you have it in a very easy to reach um, tool. Um, you, can, you can have it there collaboratively. You can now suddenly have all the versions there in one place without you manually copy pasting and you can have it as a template like a true template and i'm I, i'm talking about for instance odf templates right where you can in many of our integrations you can have a, a personal uh, template folder right where your uh, maybe specific um specific members of your clients company uh, can have access and your template can go there or even in a more bro broader sense you can have it uh, simply as a global template exported as uh, for instance let's call uh, OTT or OTP for instance in this case we have an OTP uh, for a presentation but it could be OTT 
uh, as a template and that global template then it's uh, reachable by uh, the user who is, who is using that cloud solution and can create new document based on that just with one click and this already happened for instance exactly what I was uh, saying uh, new document from a template um, and integrations can create uh, new documents from templates uh, too right so it's, it's also uh, depending on the, the people that want to integrate Collabora Online, but we already have many of these integrations, integrations in place. Um, so yeah, provide template location and template source. Now, all these, so suddenly you have, you have the collaborative advantage, you have all the, the advanced tools that you expect from an office suite, and uh, we have some nice little uh, perks and nice little um, additions that we have been doing like for instance exporting you, you can export right from your browser not only uh, you know in the the odf formats microsoft uh, office formats but also o, uh, but also pdf and even epub and this is this is really huge uh, epub special for some companies uh, working with that doc with that document uh, format uh, in the daily basis right uh, and that's it i'm here just downloading and i have my pdf um, while having secured uh, my 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 business off business offer, um, you know, in a, in a, in my on-premise uh, cloud.